Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Mixman Gaming here, your place for news and gameplay. Some good, some bad, and let's be honest, likely some rage and tilting. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications. Going forward on this channel, in order to be compliant with COPA and the cha recent changes that have been done to YouTube, I want to advise everybody that this channel and my videos, including this one, are not suitable for children. The age of children is defined by own countries and your localities, so just make sure that if you are in the legal age range of a child from where you're viewing this from, you should be turning off this video and going elsewhere. In North America, that age is under the age of 13, so please, if you're in North America and you're under 13, you'll have to sh unfortunately shut this off and look elsewhere. But that being said, we're going to look at some test server action. This test server, that we are looking at three main changes. Uh, basically, the Titans, as we've always been the last several weeks. The new user interface, which hasn't changed at all as well in the last few weeks. And they've introduced something new here called the changes to the deployment panel for robots. So we'll see what that is once we get into a battle. So to start off here, let's quickly go over my hangar and what I'm going to be running. So first off here, if you look at the Titan, I am decided to put on, and I, I don't even know if I can pronounce these things, Quirasir and the Gedar, Gendarm or Gendarm, whatever, the, the, the Dragoon-like Alpha and Beta weapons. So I usually run the rockets. I wanted to change things up here, and if I can actually deploy a Titan, I wanted to see what these Dragoon-like weapons are like. Uh, we can no, we still can't equip any modules on the Titans. It looks like they're going to be forthcoming at some point. Whether they come before this goes live or after, I don't know, but we can see the slot is there for modules. I have my traditional Falcon here, running the Glory with last stand heavy armor kit and the advanced repair unit. Again, I'm not going to go into all the pilot skills I have for all these things. They're, they're pretty standard for the type of builds I'm creating. The next one I have here is the Aojun running two Avengers. And its modules are the Anti-Control, anti Last Stand, Heavy Armor Kit with the Phase Shift. I'm running the Leech with four Storms. And the modules on it are an Anti-Control, Last Stand, Thermonuclear Reactor with the Quantum Radar. I'm running the Phantom with two sparks and a scourge with the modules anti-control, last stand, heavy armor kit, and the phase shift. And finally, the last one, I am running the Fenrir with two Coronas and an Avenger, and its modules are the anti-control, the last stand, heavy armor kit, and the advanced repair unit. So with that being said, Let's get into some gameplay, and we'll take a look at this deployment screen, and hopefully I can find a battle or two where I can actually deploy my Titan. So, without any further ado, let's get into the action. And finally found a match. Beacon Rush. Oh, God. Is this a deployment screen? Ah, I don't like that at all. Anyways, let's go with the Phantom here. Let's go try to get a beacon or two, if we can. Oh. Pixonic, fix that camera! It's one of the things that really bothers me that these changes. They change that camera. I used to be able to point the bot in the direction I want to go before the countdown. Oops. And uh, anyways, yeah, before the countdown stops, and I can't now. Alright, so somebody's leeching on me. Oh, it's that guy in the center. Alright, guys, don't shoot the leech, damn it. I can't take this guy. Not take him out, but at least do a little bit of damage. Okay, back off here a little bit. Reload. Oh yeah, I should have put my mender in or something so that I could have gotten some more points in order to hopefully get my Titan out for uh, for healing. 
But keep forgetting stuff like that to try to maximize them, the points you have. Okay, so let's see what I can do. If I can get in here, maybe attack that leech a little bit. He's going into phase shift. I'll just consider it here. And I'll go towards him. And by the time that is off, I should be able to attack him. His last has been triggered. Try to get him out and get away. Okay, so one leech off the field. So another one I think right there. So I'll just leech onto a guy there. I'm gonna start rushing in on him. He has last hand taken care of, he's gonna get mine. That's okay. Oh, I was able to save my last hand. Over there. Looks like hopefully my teammate can take him out. I think that's, is that another beach up there? What is that up there? Nope, not a leech. Not a leech. Gotta go, gotta go. Not in a very good spot here. There's a lot of leeches around. And there. My last hand's been triggered. Oh, come on. We're, we already have a four cap on. I gotta let them get a, a beacon here. I want to deploy my Titan, but I can't if we end up winning this by capping all the beacons. Come on guys, just just let them get a beacon or two. Come on. Ah, oh, shoot. Maybe I can go in here and help kill this guy. There we go, I like kill. So. what that was all about okay so I'm gonna hold back here I want to let them get some beacons okay, so we're getting center and I'll go with my leech shift. Push on to him. Grab his beacon. I don't really want to get a beacon, but I'm trying to deploy my leech. I mean, not my leech, my, my titan here, if I can. Get locked down. Come on, get out of lockdown. I thought I had anti-control in this thing. Damn it! They've got to make the test server so we can actually test these damn things. I mean, there's no point in having the Titans on the test server to test if you can't even deploy them. I mean, come on, guys. Just let the teammates have a bit of an even fighting so we can actually deploy some stuff. Jeepers. All right, well, we're going to go into another match here and see if I can't finally be able to deploy a Titan. All right, found the match. Team Deathmatch. All right, well, I don't need to run beacons. At least that's a good thing. Unfortunately, I don't... This is a range map, and I don't have any range in my hangar. 
Ay, ay, ay. I guess I'll start with the Phantom and see if I can get some Scourge and Spark damage at range. Right here if I can. What the hell is that? Or whatever it was out of the shield. Going up here. Uh -huh. Somebody's over here. Look at him. Get him a little bit. He's in phase shift. Let's go over this way. And I'm reloading, of course. I'll try to get this out again. Let's do this last stand. Should die here. Not for me though. Is that a, is that a carnage? Well, props to you, buddy, for running a carnage on the test server. Let's see if we can't go get him. <laughs> I think that's a leech up there. Let's see if we can get in the center. Help get rid of this Aries if I can. Well, I'm probably in a bad spot here, but. And time to go. What? What the hell? I, I hit that button. You saw that, I hit it. Did I somehow screw up? And I thought I, w I was definitely... Okay, he's trying to hit me. Let's see if I can take him up before I die. Okay, I'm gonna uh, get back here a little bit. I need to get behind cover here. I'm being roasted. Roasted alive! Okay, so... That is a where to go. Okay, Algen. Let's take out the Algen here. Let's see what I don't know what this guy is in here down here. He's in an Algen. in over here. Come on, change target. Let's go. Got some damage on him. Got his last damn trigger. Now I gotta reload my Avengers. Seconds to go. I guess reload. Let's go on up here, see if we can't take this guy out. Too dead. More damage. That's a falcon. Come on, keep my target. Somebody's gonna take me over here. Phase shift. battle, that's for sure. Let's 
close in a little bit. I have no Avengers left right now. And land. See what I can do with Adam from a little bit of a distance. Hitting him anyways, I think. Doesn't seem to be taking any damage, but I'm hit. I thought it was in him. Right. I have my flight, but I want to wait until my Avengers reload good, which they are now. I'm going to go on in and see if I can get rid of this Falcon, finally, once and for all. There we go. Take it this. There we go. And now I'm dead. Okay, so now I get to deploy my Titan. And... There is a range setup. So there was a guy over here someplace. Unfortunately, it's a local, so I can't actually get him. Can get a Titan there. I don't know what he's running. I'm trying to stay out of his range. Right down here. Get so him in there. Get him in now, down here. Okay, who's hitting me now? There he goes, last hand triggered. Come off here soon. There we go. How about this guy here? Can I get him? Get this guy down here. It's a beach, I think. If it would actually change target to the guy down there, come on! Finally! Hit him once. Find that structure there. I don't know if I can squeeze another shot in there or not. I'm gonna phase shift. I'm gonna come out here in a second. There we go, got him. Come on, there we go. He's still playing his way. Where did that guy up here in the center? It's a, it's a Titan. At least I think it's Titan because I'm getting like a. I think that's that that bold triangle is like a tight hit marker. Oh no, I think that's the alpha. That, I think that's the alpha weapons the hit marker. I, I don't even know what that hit marker is. I I'm trying to stay at, at a 500 meters range, but I don't know what he has. Uh, I think. I guess I should be healed up there. Pretty tight game, actually. Titan Slayer, there we go. Okay, I'm trying to stay out of his 500 meters range. If I can actually get there. There we go. You know what, I'm kind of liking these Dragoon like weapons. Holy crap. Man, I got hit hard there. Alright, well. Let's bring in the leech. Let's see what we can do here. Wanna hit me? Go ahead, hit me. Taking it here in a second. Yep. We're, we're getting completely overrun by by Titans now. Defeat. <laughs> 
was I the only one on my team that was even deployed a Titan? I, I don't know, because at one point, the, I think they had, the enemy team had three or four Titans in the air. Well, he's it, on, no, on the field. I don't know if they were in the air or not. Holy crap. I, now, why can't I get that kind of silver on the live server? 7.4 million server for 200,000 damage. Come on, Pixani, bring that to the live server. That's a change I would like to see. Here we go. 2 million damage. Didn't get a lot of honor points. Holy jeez. Seven kills. Not too bad a game. At least it was relatively close. 28 to 27. Anyway, so my th final thoughts. I, I'm not a fan of these user interface changes. I'm really not. Uh, I, I, I just, I prefer the ones in the live server. I've said that before. I guess I'll say it again. Uh, I even liked the hanger of the old one, kind of the linear hanger. Uh, this V-style hanger with the Titan in the background, it looks okay, but it's just, just not my personal preference, my personal style. Uh, at least they seem to fix the lag bu bugs when going to the store or your inventory and trying to select new weapons or new bots. That seems to be relatively smooth now. As for the gameplay of the Titans, I haven't noticed much difference. Uh, I've mentioned before, I thought the rockets were maybe a little underpowered. I didn't get a chance to run the rockets this time around to compare. But the Dragoon-style weapons seem to be a little bit more powerful from the last time I used them, which was maybe about a month or so ago. So, no, may, maybe they, that actually be, might be my go-to weapon. I kind of like the 600-meter range. Uh, it, it basically keeps you at the distance of most of the Titans. Because I, I think a lot of Titans will either run the kinetic weapons or the rockets, which are 500-meter range. And the final thing we're looking at today was the new deployment interface for when you actually get to deploy the, uh, your bots and titans on the field. I absolutely hate it. I just I, I don't like it. It takes up the entire screen real estate. Uh, sometimes before you go to, to deploy, you kind of like to, to see what you can see in the background. Uh, if, for instance, you're running uh, on Beacon Rush, you can click on an actual beacon and, and see what is kind of surrounding there, if you can get an idea of what your enemies are running, what their setups are, before you actually drop in. With this type of uh, an overlay, you can't do that anymore. It's taking up the entire screen real estate. So I really don't like that they did that. I hope they revert it because I'm really, really not a fan of the, the new deployment interface. And it was that being said, that's all the changes that were on the test server. Uh, I, there's really not much to say other than it looks like the Titans are getting close to being ready, at least in the eyes of Pixonic, for the live server. I still think they need to, to tweak the deployment mechanisms on it. But beyond that, uh, I don't know if the modules for the Titans will come out before it goes live or after, but the slots there are there on the Titans for the modules. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And until next time, cause some mayhem in the field for me.